This is how you can make a message logger system for your Discord.js version 14 bot, so let's go ahead and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that if you're interested in getting the source code from this video or any other video on my channel, you can go ahead and join a super or god tier subscription on YouTube, or you can go ahead and get a god tier subscription on Discord. We also have released a brand new tier called the bot tier, and if you get this on either Discord or YouTube, you'll get a full zip file of the exact bot that is used in these videos. You can also get any of these four bot packages. They're fully coded at discord bots based on a specific topic all of this will be in the description below if you're interested and with that let's go ahead and get in the code all right so over in our code let's go over to schemas and we're going to go ahead and create a message log.js we're going to go ahead and create a guild string a channel string and a log channel string just go ahead and pause the video and copy all of this down then we're going to go ahead and go over to moderation and we're going to go ahead and create a message log.js we're going to go ahead and start off by getting our slash command builder we can get our embed builder and we're also going to get our channel type and then we're going to do equals require and we're going to go ahead and get our discord.js package then we can do const message log equals require and we can go ahead and get our schemas so we can go ahead and get our message log so that's going to be the schema we just created then we can do module that exports we're going to go ahead and open this up we're going to get our mod and that's going to be true the video for that is in the description below or you could just go ahead and make a permissions check so now we're going to go ahead and create our command and our sub commands so first we're going to go ahead and get data which is going to be our new slash command builder we're going to set a name to message logger the description is redundant so just go ahead and leave that as is we're going to go ahead and add a sub command the name is going to be add with a description of add a message logger channel we're going to add a channel option with the name channel at the description of the channel to log messages from we're going to set required to true and we're also going to add channel types to guild text we're going to go ahead and add one more channel option with the name log channel the description the channel to log messages in we're going to set required and we're going to add the same exact channel types as before to guild text the last sub command is going to be remove with a description of remove the log system from a channel then we're going to have a channel option with the name channel and a description of the channel to remove the log system from we're also going to set required to true and we're going to add those same channel types so now we can go ahead and do async executes and we're going to go ahead and get our interaction and we can go ahead and open this up we're going to go ahead and start off by getting our options and we're going to go ahead and set that equal to our interaction and then we're going to go ahead and do const sub equals options that get sub command we're also going to go ahead and get our channel so we can do var channel equals options that get channel and we're going to go ahead and get our channel just like that we're also going to do var data equals await message log dot find one we're going to get our guilds which can be our interaction dot guild id and we can get our channel which is going to be our channel dot id now we're going to go ahead and write out our send message function so we're going to do async function we can go ahead and do send message we're going to get our message parameter within this we're going to do const embed equals new embed builder and we can go ahead and start off by setting a color i'm going to go ahead and make that blurple then we can go ahead and set a description and i'm going to make that message and then we can go ahead and do await interaction or apply to send it we're going to get our embeds and we're going to set that to our embed we're also going to go ahead and set informal on that message to true. So now we're going to go ahead and switch to our sub command. And we're going to start by getting our first one, which is going to be add. So within this, we're going to say if, and we can do data. Then we're going to go ahead and do await send message. And I'm just going to go ahead and get a caution emoji. And we can go ahead and say it looks like the message log system is already set up for that channel. Just like that. Then we can go ahead and say else. And we're going to go ahead and set it up. So we can do var log channel equals options to get channel. And that's going to be our log channel. Then we can go ahead and do await message log dot create. We're going to get our guild, which is going to be our interaction dot guild dot ID. Our channel, which is going to be our channel dot ID. And our log channel which is going to be our log channel that ID so now we can go ahead and send our confirmation message so we can do await send message and I'm just gonna go ahead and get a globe emoji we can go ahead and say the message logger system is now enabled for and we can go ahead and say channel and then we can say all message will be logged into and we can do log channel so that's just our confirmation message now we're gonna go ahead and do break and we can get our case which is going to be removed so this is just removing the channel from the database that saves uh, the message logs so so basically when we remove it then all the messages will stop being logged so to do that we're going to say if no data and we're going to go ahead and do wait and we can do send message and we're going to go ahead and get a caution emoji and i'm just going to go ahead and say there is no message log system for that channel now we can go ahead and do what we did above so we're going to say else and then in here we're going to do wait message log and then we can do dot delete one and we can get our guild which is going to be our interaction that guild that id we're going to get our channel which is going to be our channel that id 
uh, and then we can actually go ahead and send our confirmation message. So it's going to be almost the same as above. We're just going to go ahead and say await send message with a globe emoji and we're going to say I have disabled the message log system for channel. So with that, we're actually done with this setup and disable uh, portion. So this is the commands. Now we're going to go ahead and close out and we're going to go over to events and we can just go ahead and create our message log.js. This is going to be the events that actually handles the entire system. What we just did was the commands to set up and disable it. So in here, we're going to go ahead and get two things. We're going to get our discord.js package with events, action row builder, button builder, button style, and component type, as well as message log schema just like we did in the other file. Then we're gonna do module.exports and we can open this up. We're gonna get our name, which can be events.messageCreate. And we're gonna go ahead and just do async execute. We can go ahead and get our message and we're gonna open this up. We're gonna say if no message.guild or no message, then we're just gonna go into return. We can also go ahead and save our data equals await message log. And then we can do dot find one. We're going to get our guild, which can be our message.guild.id. And we can also get our channel, which is going to be our message.channel.id. So now what we can go ahead and do is we're going to say if no data, then we're just going to go ahead and return. We can do var send channel. And this is going to be await message.guild.channels.fetch. And we're going to get our data.log channel. So we're getting the channel that we're actually going to go ahead and send the logs into. Now we're going to do var b equals, and we can do new button builder. And I'm gonna go ahead and set style, and this is going to be button style, and we can do dot danger. And we're also gonna go ahead and set a label, and I'm gonna go ahead and get a trash bin emoji, and we can go ahead and say delete message. Then we can go ahead and set a custom ID, and I'm just gonna go ahead and do message log delete message. I'm just trying to make that as obscure as possible in case I for some reason have another button with that ID. Then we can go ahead and set our disabled, and we're gonna go ahead and set that to false, just like that. So now we're gonna go ahead and do var button equals new action row builder. And I'm gonna go ahead and add our components, and we're gonna get our new button builder, and we can go ahead and set a style. This is going to be our button style that link, and we can go ahead and set our URL. And this is actually going to go ahead and be a message link. So we're going to go ahead and take a couple of values and we can actually go ahead and form them into a link. So it's going to be discord.com slash channels. And then we're going to get our guild ID, our channel ID, and our message ID. That's going to make our message link. Then we're going to set our label and that is going to be view message. Now we're going to add a comma and we're going to come down here and we're going to put in our B variable. So what we've done is we've created a B variable so that we can actually set disable to true a little bit later in the code. So we're just going to go ahead and include that within our action row builder so that we can actually go ahead and add it to our embed. So now we can go ahead and do var attachments equals await message dot attachments dot map and we're going to get our attachments and we can do arrow function attachment dot url and then we can go ahead and set that to string just like that now we're going to do var message equals await send channel and then we can do dot send and i'm going to say contents and I'm just gonna go ahead and get all of my content here. So we're gonna say new message logged and we're gonna pass in our data.channel within the hashtag to actually call that channel. We're gonna do two backslash ends and arrow message content and then we're gonna do or and we're gonna go ahead and say no message content. We're gonna do backslash n, we're gonna pass in attachments and then we're gonna do two backslash ends. We can say this message was sent by, we can do message author in parentheses, we're gonna do message.author.id and we can say as being logged here. And then we can just go ahead and say take moderative action below if needed and then we can say note if some of the buttons don't work it means the message has been deleted and then we're also going to add components which is going to be button so after we've done that uh, we're actually going to go ahead and move on to our button collector but just keep in mind we're going to be copying and pasting this message quite often so just be ready for that we're going to do var time and i'm going to go ahead and set this to 300,000 milliseconds now this is going to be equivalent to five minutes so that's the reason we're using this and you'll see why we're using that in a minute you can change this as you would like to but i would recommend keeping it at five minutes then we're going to go ahead and do const collector equals await message dot create message component collector and we're going to go ahead and open this up we can do component type and i'm going to go ahead and do component type and we can do dot button and then we're going to get our time variable just like that now we're going to go ahead and do await collector dot on and we're going to go ahead and collect and we can do async i and we're going to open this up so basically we're handling our delete message button so we can say if and we can do i dot custom id is not equal to and we can do our message log delete message or i think that's a custom id we used then we can just go ahead and return then we're going to say if no message, then we're going to go ahead and return await message.edit. And we're going to go ahead and edit in our content. 
And this is actually going to be the same content as right up here, including the button. So just make sure you go ahead and copy this and we're going to go ahead and paste it. And we're actually going to go ahead and edit the content just a little bit in here. So we're going to go ahead and replace uh, from take moderative action if needed all the way to the end. And we're going to go ahead and replace that with this message has been deleted by a moderator or the message author. And we're also going to go ahead and remove the button component. So now we have no more components there. So basically what we're doing here is if the message is gone uh, when the button is being clicked, that means the message was deleted by somebody in the channel. So we're going to go ahead and edit that into the message and remove the components because none of those buttons are going to be useful if the message is deleted. So now that we've done that, we can actually go ahead and move on. We're going to go ahead and say var error and we can do await message and we can do dot delete. And we're going to go ahead and make our catch error here. And I'm going to go ahead and open this up. We can just go ahead and set error and we can make that true. So just make sure you are aware message and MSG are two different things. Message is the actual message that we're trying to delete. This is the message that the user sent that is being logged. MSG is the message that is logged within the channel. So that's going to be the logged message, as you can see, uh, with this content. And that we need to edit and change a couple of times based on the status of the actual message. So just make sure you get those variables correct. Then we're going to say if error. Then we can open this up. We're going to do await and we can do either reply. We can say contents and I'm just going to go ahead and get our caution emoji. And we can say I could not delete that message. And we're going to go ahead and set informal to true. Then we can go ahead and say else. And we're going to go ahead and do await i.reply. And we can say contents. And I'm going to go ahead and get a globe emoji. And we can just go ahead and say I have deleted that message. And I'm also going to go ahead and set informal to true. Then we're going to go ahead and edit the message again. But this time we're going to edit in a different content. So we're going to get the same first part of the content. And then instead of this message has been deleted by a moderator or the message author, we're going to say this message has been deleted by the message log moderator buttons. We're also going to keep components empty. Now, one thing that I didn't do above is I want to actually go ahead and catch an error. So anytime we edit a message, it's good to catch an error in case that message no longer exists. So I'm going to go ahead and do control F. We're going to search for edit. And as you can see now, both of the times we use edit here, the catch error is enabled. So just make sure you continue to catch an error for all the times you edit within your code here. Otherwise, something might happen. So now we're going to go ahead and run our end event because everything should be set and good. So we can do collector and we can do dot on and we're going to go ahead and do end and we're going to do async and we can just make an empty function. We're going to open that up. We're going to do a way to be dot set disabled to true. So that's our button uh, from above. And now we have to edit the message. So this is going to be one more message edit and I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste it. So it's going to be the same exact content, um, but the end part is going to change just like above. So we're going to say the time has expired for moderative action below. You can still view the message using the button. If uh, it doesn't work, it means the message was deleted. And the end portions of all of this, I bold as well, just so you know. And this time we're going to add our button back. So we're going to go ahead and pass in our button component. We're again going to go ahead and catch an error there. So with that, we are actually done with this entire system. So let's go ahead and save the files, restart the bot, and test this out. All right, so over in the Discord server, we can actually go in and test this out. I'm going to go ahead and get our commands first. So we're going to get message logger add, and I'm going to get the channel that we're currently in. And we can actually go ahead and log it over to the message log channel, and we can go ahead and send it. So now as you can see, all of the messages sent within this channel will be logged into this channel. And as you can see here, uh, now we actually have a message... Uh, with no message content sent by the bot. So that is the message that we just sent here. Now, technically, we could view the message link and it's going to bring me to it, but uh, it's an informal message, so it doesn't really matter. Let's actually go ahead and test the system out. So we can just start off by maybe saying a message like this. So we can go like that. Um, and as you can see, now we have two new messages logged here. The first one is going to be from me, and the second one is going to be from the bot. So every single message that gets sent within this channel or any enabled channel will be sent to that corresponding log channel. And we have a couple buttons here, so let's go ahead and test them out. The first is the message link. So we could go to either of these messages just like that, and it will bring me right there. The second is the delete one. So let's go ahead and delete the hello wave by the bot. So we can go ahead and click on the delete button. And as you can see here, it's going to go ahead and say I've deleted that message. And it's also going to go ahead and edit the buttons out because the message is deleted. So there's obviously no reason for us to have buttons. 
So, but if we go back over to that channel, as you can see, now that message is gone and we haven't touched it other than using the buttons. So we might as well test out one more thing. Let's go ahead and delete this message here and we can go back over here and let's go ahead and try to delete it using the buttons. So if we go ahead and click on that, it's going to say, I cannot delete that message. And that is just because the message does not exist. So we cannot delete a message that doesn't exist. Now, the last thing that we can go ahead and test out is after five minutes of the sending, the buttons are actually going to go ahead and gray out because the collector is going to end. So in about four minutes, maybe uh, I'll show you how this actually works. And as you can see here, the original message that we sent has grayed out. And that means the next message should go disabled in just a couple of seconds here. Um, but after five minutes, the collector shuts down. The message actually edits in. As you can see, the messages are different. Uh, it says the time has expired. Um, and then we cannot use the buttons. We could still view the message if we clicked on this, but they're both deleted. So obviously that's not going to do any good. And now when we go back in here, now all of these messages are grayed out. So that is how this system works. So that's how you can make an advanced message logger system for your discord.js version 14 bot. If you do need any help with this, go ahead and join the server in the description below and use our help channels here and we'll be happy to help you out. And you might as well just join anyways because this is a pretty good coding community. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video.